Hi Royal Food, this is Luana here and this is Tuesdays with Lou and I'm coming to you today to talk to you about I saw in the forum a lot of people talking about skin and saggy skin as you lose weight and I think that's a really important thing and especially it is for me I'm finding that I'm losing quite a lot of weight now and I'm and I have been for the last five months looking at looking after my skin a bit more and so I would thought I would share with you what I do and why I do it firstly the skin is is really important and I mean it's not really important I mean it's, there's a lot of it there's a big organ and it's considered the third kidney of the body and that's because and because we're talking about detoxing and eliminating toxins from our body the skin is incredibly important it actually takes 30% this is why it's considered the third organ it takes 30% of our body waste away so 30% is a pretty you know substantial amount so I um, have been looking at you know loose skin as I lose weight and have a lot you know have a lot to lose and have already lost a lot so I have put some things in place that will help me the aim for my skin and what I'm looking at is nourishing my skin and encouraging its elastin so that you know because it's been so stretched uh, it, it should go back uh, look a lot of it some of it not a lot of it but a lot of it is genetic some of it is genetic but we can also do things externally and things that will promote the elastin and the collagen in the body so that the skin might come back they say that don't do anything brash like surgery or anything if you're thinking of doing that once you lose lots of weight because it took you a long time to put the weight on and two years after you reach your goal weight you should think about after two years of you know the skin giving the time for the skin to heal and you know you put it on it took a long time so two years is not a lot to wait to see how it compacts and you know goes back um, first thing that I do is I exfoliate daily I do this with a body brush this is a dry brush I do this before I get into the bath or a shower each day I usually do it in the mornings and you do little strokes and you, what you're doing is you're also stimulating the skin you're toning the skin it's taking exfoliating which is taking the dead cells off the skin so you get this nice glow it's freeing up the pores so that there's more you know it's just a, it's easier for the body to be able to eliminate waste from the body if the skin is clean and it's and by taking the cells off that are that have died you're get, get, you know you're giving the body the best chance and you know the body has the freshest skin to be able to do that um, I use this each day what you do is you you body brush like this all over your body up towards the heart because you're trying to also move the lymph um, fluid around so that's one thing that these are natural natural brushes and it's on a stick so you can also do your back and this is Andrew's one he has a bit of a different one really important and you know I've, I've, I've been doing that for about 20 years and I absolutely love body brushing the other thing next thing that I do is hot baths I have and try to once or twice a week to have a bath um, I have this mud uh, mud's really good for refining the pores and there's two ways you can do it you can either put the mud in the bath which is like two or three ounces of mud in the bath and then hop in really good for drawing out toxins out of the body because of the dryness of the clay good for refining the pores if you have enlarged pores on your face really good for oils ex excess oils in the face and in the body and rich etc uh, it's you can either do it the way you, there's two ways to do it you can either put it all over yourself and wait for it to dry and then jump in the bath or you can just put it straight in the bath so and I just keep mine mine just stays like this and um, I love it I love clay that comes from WA so that's really cool the other thing oh you can also use salt is another one sea salt Himalayan sea salt really good put about half a pound in in a bath that's also great detoxer so that 
draws out um, toxins out of the body, relaxes the... And you can also put essences, any essences that you like in any of those just to add, a, you know, another sense to it. But, um, you, you know, salt is a great natural cleanser and it's really great for drawing out. And, you know, all of this is stimulating the body and encouraging elasticity in the body. My other favourite, which includes, improves the elasticity in the body, the elastin and the collagen. And not only does it improve the um, the skin, you know, the texture of the skin, it also is really great for the skin's natural defences, um, aloe vera. And this is what aloe vera looks like. Can't cut this one up because it's just for a friend. I just got it off my big plant. But this has a gel inside of it. So what I normally do, we'll cut it off with a knife. It's a really soothing plant. So I'll cut it off and then I'll cut up the middle of it and then I'll open it out and then I just put it straight on. I mean, there's lots of different ways people use it as an extract and things like that, but I reckon straight from the source. So aloe vera is another really great thing. Um, this is, um, what is it called? Cedar nut oil. This is from the Anastasia series, from the cedar series, and this is this can be taken internally. It's a really good healing oil. This is really good to put on your body. Um, any like vitamin E is also really good to put on. It really all depends about how many stretch marks you've got, also, because stretch marks have a tendency not to go back as much. Another good thing that helps us is raw food. So things like cucumbers, tomatoes, um, avocados, olives, coconuts, they all help to improve the elastin and the elasticity of the body, so or the skin. So that will help you and encourage the skin, you know, to become to you know, to get taut and to, you know, as you get smaller in weight, it should compact and slowly go back with it. Uh, what else is there? Um, the other thing that I read about was to do with the fat content. It's really hard when you start to lose weight, and this is what I'm finding out, is this fat or is this excess skin? And it says it's really hard to tell the difference between fat and excess skin. And so a really good way to do that and to keep an eye on it is to uh, use the scales, like at the gym, or you can go down to the, you know, sometimes they're at the supermarket or the malls. Um, they look at the percentage of fat in the body and what you can do is start to look at what percentage of fat you have and start to work on reducing the composition of your body so you know reducing the fat and bringing up the muscle and that will help with the skin so you'll be able to you know you'll be able to tighten the skin and through exercise exercise is so good for the skin because you know you're working the organ of the body and the body's perspiring and it's just it's any any type of cardiovascular workout is really great for the skin and improving you know getting the skin to come back and be taut and doing that you know even exercise balls I sit on an exercise ball here and you know that's toning the muscles and hopefully it's toning the skin up um, I'm going next week. The other thing I I get once a fortnight, once a fortnight is a massage, and that's really great for eliminating toxins. And you know what? You can you can give yourself. It doesn't cost a lot. You can give yourself self massages, and or you know if you you know you have a partner or someone willing, you can you know ask them if they can massage you, and that and that will stimulate the tissues in the body, and will stimulate the lymph, and it will stimulate stimulate you know, improving the tone of the body. Here I am, stroking myself as a And um, I get a massage every fortnight, and that's helping with not only the elastin in the skin, but it's also helping with the detox. So that's really it. Infrared saunas is another one. I haven't tried out. I am going to try out next week. So I'm about to run out of time. So that's really it from me. And blessings to you all, and I'll see you next Tuesday. And tell me below what you're doing what are you doing to help with your skin or do you think it's important or you know if I haven't said anything tell me something that you know I haven't used that would be really good to know because it might even help me so hope you're going really well on your day 8 and I will see you next week bye raw food